angry guy here and today we're talking about janelle iliana's van living and this is a response to her video giving us a tour of her van and also my thoughts on on exactly how you know i'm on living in a van and living in a car because i've done it before so we're going to jump into this and really just you know try to figure out what's going on here because she recently gained about 1.3 million subscribers 1.1 1.3 in like a week <laughs> So today we're discussing Janelle Eliana van living and this is a response to her video where she shows us her her van and her setup and it's become very popular. She is potentially the fastest growing channel on YouTube ever now and she only has <clears throat> two videos uploaded to her channel. So she hit over 1 million subscribers with over, with just two videos, okay? And there's actually been some questions about how did she do this? And there's a number of people who have actually been saying that they were subscribed to her channel and uh, they had no idea, like they were just subscribed to her channel, but they never chose to subscribe. And uh, there's a single story going on right now that YouTube actually auto subscribed people to her channel. Whether or not that is true, I have no idea. What I can say, however, is recently I've been noticing channels that I was pretty sure I wasn't subscribed to, that I am subscribed to, and channels that I've been watching for years that I'm not subscribed to. And it's been, it's really, really been confusing to me. Like, I'm like, what the heck's going on? So a lot of people are saying that they're subscribed to her channel and they never actually did subscribe to her channel. Now, more so than that, that's just part of what's happening. But there's more to the story. And you can thank a bit of Brit for bringing this to my attention and pushing me to make this video. So yeah i'm personally i I've, I've lived i've done the whole you know living in your car thing i had a pretty nice jeep till they towed it and i will say that it was always very difficult okay for me i i did not like living in my car i found it very very stressful i found it very very concerning i was always you know i was always looking over my shoulder i was always worrying about my safety there was there were just so many things that I constantly had to concern myself with. It was hard. It was really, really hard. And I have to just be open and honest about that, that it was really, really hard living in a, living in a car, living in a van. And there's some things like a lot of things about her story personally don't add up. For example, she is a part-time college student, I believe, but she's been living in her van for about a year and a half now or somewhere within that range. She's 20 years old, but she's been living in it since she was 19 years old. And all the convert, like the, the van is pretty nice. It actually has hardwood floors, but she did all the conversion. So she did the electrical wiring. She did the hardwood flooring. She did everything in the van, evidently. And while I'm not saying this is not possible, it's a little head scratching how hardwood floors are something that you don't typically see even in a even in the van of someone of, of you know electrical engineers you know you, you that's something you typically do not see and yet we have someone who doesn't apparently does not you know mention any background in architect architecture engineering or you know doing this so it's it's extremely impressive but at the same time my question comes down to how all right there's also only two videos on the channel and those two videos don't really give us a really in-depth look at her life 
in other words you know we know where she's been we you know she talks about what she's done what she's done but we don't really know much about her actual traveling her you know her instagram account only goes goes back to like about a year ago and it wasn't and it was actually her youtube channel that helped her instagram channel her instagram account to grow so again this is all very confusing so that this is janelle this is janelle and what i'll do for you guys is i'll put like yeah it's already in like times two so as you guys can see that's her on the screen and you can see her van and it's some of the camera angles for example like you know are just like our, our head scratching in this in this uh scene right here she's a person who's been living in a van for quite some time and i talked about britney with this i brought this up to a bit of break because like i said she showed me this whole thing and what didn't make and, and then like and britney actually made a good point regarding this so she sees a bug a little bug okay and she hops into the van all right a bug a tiny bug guys look at this so she she sees a small bug and she hops into the van here's the problem she sees a small bug and hops into the van but just moments earlier in the video she's holding her pet snake do, do you see what i'm saying there you go moments earlier just moments earlier in the video just like look at that moments earlier in the video she's holding her pet snake but a moments later she's over she's uh you know worried about a very small bug for someone who lives in a van someone who lives outdoors something like that would not bother you okay i'm just being very very clear if you've been living Outside, if you've been living, if you've been doing like, you know, RV living, that kind of stuff, a tiny bug would not bother you. I'm being very honest. You, you, you will be completely desensitized to it. There is no way you can live in a van and something that small bother you. I'm being, and like, and then a moment ago, she's holding, she's holding her snake, her pet snake. It, it does not add up whatsoever. The story doesn't add up whatsoever. I mean, another thing is the way, like, you know, her upkeep. Look at her hair. Her hair is pretty well done. She's very well groomed. You might say, well, that's, I mean, what are you saying? That people cannot be well groomed living in a van. But based on what she said, you know, for example, she showers at the gym and so forth. Again, everything looks a bit too well maintained everything looks a bit too well put together all right guys she did all this she did all the electrical wiring herself all the electrical wiring herself she did all the instant all the conversion herself okay she installed hardwood floors in there okay she she uh she ran wiring she, I mean, guys she installed a solar panel okay there's a solar panel on this thing there's a solar panel on this thing she installed a solar panel okay a solar panel she has a refrigerator in here okay here's a, guys oh my gosh here's another thing that i didn't catch uh she has a a working sink she has a working si a working sink a working sink she installed a working sink okay guys how how first off how did she afford to do this okay this none of this makes any sense she installed hardwood floors did the electrical wiring and all i mean has a did the plumbing this and she did it all herself this this is really beyond typically when people are remodeling their vehicles there are multiple people involved so for example they hire someone you know a guy who's good at uh good at architecture good at building stuff they still hire someone to do the wiring for them or they hire someone to do the plumbing for them no one typically has all the skills to do every single thing okay but she did every single thing and she's a student who doesn't have a lot of money 
Th th does this guys does this add up to you at all look at this L guys look at this oh a, a fully functional sink a fully functional sink that she built installed herself okay i wouldn't be surprised if she had a stove in there either probably done running with running water <laughs> guys come on come on all right this is i'm i'm i just don't i mean like how is this possible how was this done there's no backstory none whatsoever other than yeah i did all of this i, I built this and i built this and I, a hardwood floor guys there it is there it is that's the hardwood floor she put hardwood floors flooring in there she installed cabinets she changed out insulation i mean forget about insulation she basically rebuilt would have rebuilt the entire thing and she did this entirely on her own how just looking guys this conversion would cost thousands of dollars thousands of dollars all right and to have some hire someone to help actually help you do this could easily cost 10 grand or more but a young woman 19 year old young woman seemingly built and designed all of this on on essentially no budget right and we don't really hear too much about her parents her family but I, I hey i'm i'm just i'm sure they're cool with this what britney was suggesting is britney thinks that this this girl is an actor she thinks that she is an actor and that and you know i can't really doubt her because i i mean guys look at the hair look at the makeup look at the way she's dressed look at the the i mean look at the van it, it's it, none of this adds up all right even the video quality and the video editing is uncommon all right like like how how are you doing this okay she guys you can tell when people live in like a van all right you know from the clothing the way that they behave certain different aspects guys this is her van living okay pure castile soap you've got i mean what guys this is like i don't know if you remember like there used to be this character known as lonely girl a number of years ago video close-ups yeah she's yeah guys she's really good with cinematography also okay she's good with the cinematography guys do you, do you guys remember lonely girl from many many years ago who uh she was like uh it was basically you know this thing where this girl was like making videos and stuff and it ended up turning out to be a, a total scheme and it was like you know it was actually it was actually it was just a it was a scheme it was a scheme and it was it, she wasn't a, she was just an actress playing a part and honestly i am looking at this right now and i feel the exact same way like this is this is an act guys look at this look at the video editing look at the over the top video editing this is not from she has two videos guys two videos using these extensive video techniques when people start making their first youtube videos even people who have advanced video editing skills they don't put out videos like this your first video is not something like this it just isn't okay it just it really isn't this is something that you would see more so from a seasoned youtuber who's produced a number of videos over time you wouldn't see a video of this quality of this quality from from a new youtuber i'm just being very honest someone that is brand new to making videos even her picture uh, guys another thing is you look at her instagram pictures right i've looked at her instagram pictures and her instagram pictures are most of them are just very very well t well done you know like they they're do they're done in a way that you would want you would think that she took them herself but in reality I think she had someone take them it looks like i mean because the quality of them is a bit over the top even the filters and everything 
again, guys, how does a 19 year old afford all of this? I mean, guys, look at the earrings. Look at the way she's dressed. Okay. Look at the makeup. Look at the stuff that she has in there. And like, you know, people might be saying, well, who are you to even question her? But, you know, Philip DeFranco, for example, Brittany pointed this out. Philip DeFranco talked about this. Like he just basically randomly out of nowhere promoted her. Like he was like, oh, I just want to talk about Janelle Eliana. All right. And this is and she's relatively literally uh, completely unknown on the platform. And he just decides to feature her. There are many other larger creators out there. But he decides to focus in on this very small creator that has literally no fan base and only two videos on the channel. And now lots of people are saying that they have been subscribed to her channel and they never subscribed to her channel. And it makes perfect sense. Guys, she has two videos. Two videos. All right. And her channel is only about one is barely a month old. Her channel is barely a month old, all right? People don't even know who she is, and they're subscribed to her channel. This is very, very concerning, highly concerning right now, okay? I, I, I just, I want to point that out. I mean, for example, check this out. <clears throat> a woman and her snake share a stylish and surprisingly spacious converted van home, right? So basically, this is a van, and her name is Jan Janelle Eliana and her white uh, ball python Alfredo. Okay, and here we go. Location California, oh, of course. 1995. It's a 1995 GMC Vadura Explorer. Explorer, and she's lived in it for a year and a half. She's owned it and lived in it for a year and a half. And again, guys, I want you to look at the conversion work that she's done. Look at this, guys. Building cabinets, building small cabinets into the doors it themselves. Guys, this is, again, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. All right? Guys, let's look inside. Look, at, look inside. Look inside of the van, all right? There's a full-size bed in here. And by the way, not only does she have a bed, she also there's also a hammock. She also has a hammock in there as well. If you look at the top, she has a surfboard. If you look to the right, she has, again, we saw that earlier, she has a full sink, okay? And window, oh my gosh. Cut, what? All right, listen to this, okay? So let's, let's, let's read this. So she purchased the Explorer in 2009, 2017, which happened to be her first vehicle as well. Her first vehicle, guys, transformed it into a very compact but co cozy house on wheels. Her baby blue on the outside, ele uh, ele electric and pink on the inside van is the perfect home base for her lifestyle right now. Okay. Featuring solar power, a working sink, expansive clothes storage, and a spacious home for her white ball python. Python. Janelle also did the entire van conversion herself. Not too bad for a first-time homeowner. Yeah, guys, this is this is. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. All right. I mean, guys, look at this. Looks like she even what she installed like an additional stereo. I think these are stereos. Are these stereo? Is this a stereo system? She installed like a an additional stereo system in it. All right. So in a so she keeps them in a glass enclosure warmed by Janelle's solar and battery setup. Okay, solar. This is guys. Janelle works full time. At 19, she works full-time, goes to school part-time, but she also finds time to, road, to, time to road trip through her state of California in her tiny home on wheels. She actually originally wanted to purchase a Sprinter van, but ended up buying this one on Craigslist for an amazing price. The lovely elderly couple who sold it to me only used it, only used her to take their grandkids to Disneyland a couple times out of the year oh such a wonderful story 
I can't, it came fully stocked, but every button, every button worked. They all had, they had the original Polaroid TV hooked up to a PlayStation. The motorized bed was still motorized. AC heater was in tip top shape. Until this day, I haven't had any major mechanical issues. Her name was Dino before I had her painted blue. She wrote the caption. Again, guys, she did the conversion in here. This is all conversions that she did. Okay. You can help Janelle fill up her gas tank by checking out some of the vintage clothing she has for sale. After watching the video house tour she made for us above, make sure you follow her on Instagram to see even more videos. Guys, this is a, so this is a major promotion for her. She approaches hashtag van life with a lot of humor and it's very watchable. What? Guys, this sounds like an advertisement. Sounds like an outright advertisement. This is Tube Filter. How Van Life YouTuber Jenel Elenia amassed 1.3 million subscribers with two videos in three weeks. Okay? Guys, again, this, you've got to be kidding me. No, 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 no. This is, this does not seem real at all. It doesn't. You can see it. You can see it, okay? You can see it. I mean, guys, look, look, she's, look at how she's dressed, okay? She's dressed luxuriously. Guys, this, is, she's, this looks like an actor to me. She looks like an actress. She looks like an honest actress, okay? And there's other prominent van creators, Kobe Life, um, you know, followed following a nomad named Ben. There is Jin T Fell, an Australian family of three. And these people only have like four hundred and fifty thousand subscribers, four hundred and seventy thousand. There's also Hobo Ali, whose real name is Alejandra. She has three hundred thousand subscribers. And I've actually talked about Hobo Ali uh for a number of years, like years back. In fact, she was the original video, I made a video discussing her van life when she was a very small YouTuber. And she was upset. I, I don't. She was a little bit upset with, with the video I made. That was when I had the other channel. That was so, that was years and years ago. So I mean, again, I'm just like saying, like, do you guys? Hmm. Let me double check something. Okay. So interestingly, interestingly, neither of Eliana's two videos appear to be running ads thus far. Though YouTube notes the review process for its partner program, which enables monetization, can take up to a month. That said, she does ha say in her first video that she has a job, though she doesn't provide any specifics. And Eliana is also looking to eke out traditional income through a second Instagram account dubbed Janelle's Gas Money, where she vends where she's vending thrifted clothing on peer-to-peer -peer social shop platform Depop. Guys, this what this story just doesn't make a lot of sense. It just doesn't make any sense at all. It makes literally no sense. Alright? I would just have to say that she's a you know, here's what Brittany seemed to be alluding to, like, and this is what I basically said, you know, they're basically uh, trying to, they're basically trying to, you know, uh, show young women that this is a, that, that this is a, a very, a, an, a, even an empowering way of living. It's a feasible, it's a possible, and it's empowering way of living, an alternative way of living. But living in a car is is not great. It's it's really difficult, especially when you have to go to the bathroom at nighttime, or you want to shower, or you. It's harder when it's cold. The fact that you constantly have to be on the move. In another art, art article, it pointed out the fact that she's constantly moving. She has no permanent residence, so you're constantly driving around, going from place to place. Earlier, I showed you she totally. She was totally um, worried by a tiny bug, yet she lives in this van with her fight with her python. Guys, if that doesn't sound like something out of a Disney series, I don't know what does. Like, I'm, I'm like wondering if this is like Disney. Like Disney, is this your do like Disney? Are you doing this? Like, is Disney behind this? Because this like literally feels like a Disney series. It literally feels 
like a Disney series, something produced by some big company that is trying to like reel in the millennial audience and uh, and you know YouTube's on board with it because it it, it definitely is odd. I mean, YouTube is basic is promoting her living out of her van to make it cool. That's what Britney said. She actually said YouTube promoting a, a girl. When I say Britney, I mean a bit of Brit. Is uh, YouTube promoting a girl living out of her van to make it cool? And again, guys, how? Why is this happening? I mean, personally, you know, you have to wonder if there is an agenda behind this. As I, because I'm, a lot of people are suggesting there, there absolutely is. You know, there absolutely is, and we know that there's been a lot of censorship happening recently, and so it wouldn't it wouldn't be a surprise if um, it wouldn't be a surprise if this if that was the case because it, it, not, it, it none of this adds up. Guys, what I can say though is the economy is taking a massive nosedive right now, and it does appear that things like this might be pushing to pushing people towards becoming more comfortable with the idea of, especially women, of minimizing their lifestyles. Okay, because this is how you know they introduce the masses to changes like this. For example, it's not homelessness. It's re it's like, you know, it's happiness, you know, it's alternative living and it's incredible, you know, I mean, it's not a van, it's a tiny home. Again, that that's really, really, that's a, that's a real head scratcher. As I've said, guys, you should be buying up your crypto right now because if you don't, it's not, you know, you, you I mean, like I said, that's like for, for us millennials, uh, and like in a lot of older people in general, if you know, if you don't, you know, you don't have any other options. I was putting out there, like you don't have any other options right now, other than to, you know, secure wealth and resources, other than to invest what you can in crypto, because we don't, because you don't have a lot of money. This is like the best bet right now that you have at survival, at because uh, you know you can see that the powers that be are definitely there's a lot happening. Right now, guys, we have a weekend sale going for all the courses in Crypto Money Academy. We have, um, so all the courses are $99 or less. So we have new courses. Those are going for $89 on during with the ultra early bird special happening right now. And you can get, and basically here's how it looks. So you can get any of these courses. I have a new course coming for you guys, Mastering uh, mastering Crap Coins. That course is gonna come soon, but all the other courses are out. We have how to make massive profit from ICOs and not lose everything. There's a lot of new ICOs happening. And as the markets accelerate, more and more people are going to be launching ICOs. So knowing how to invest in these ICOs is going to, is really what's going to separate the difference between you losing all your money investing in them and you making lots of money. You can get this course for the early bird special price of $89.99. The course usually goes for $189.99, okay? We also have how blockchain actually works for people who are still confused about blockchain or just want a more solid foundation of blockchain. And it basically expands on blockchain in general so that you can understand the inner workings of almost any blockchain and not just blockchain, but blockchain alternative technology. For example, technology like iota and other networks that are actually in the works so you'll also learn about the alternative networks and alternative technology out there so you'll be ahead of the curve so this is a huge course to take this course is 129.99 but you can get it for the early bird price of 89 bucks right now we have how to take profits perfectly so make massive profit without taking massive losses that one's the early bird price of 89.99 ultra early bird and then of course we have these very popular courses how to choose and invest in all coins that will increase by a hundred thousand times and make you massive profit that course is 300 you can get it for a hundred right now you can, uh, you can get strategy the strategy you must use to become a crypto millionaire that course is 160 get it for a hundred you can get converting cryptocurrencies without using an exchange this way that course goes for 160 and again all the courses are 100 right now or less and uh, with that course you can basically get coins very very quickly and get all your all these all, over 300 different cryptocurrencies very quickly at a, at much lower fees than using the exchanges and get them much faster so that's a this is a must have course 
for everyone. We have how to quickly withdraw your crypto in cash from any ATM and other crypto to cash quick conversion methods. And there's actually some in here that no one know that people don't know about at all that allow you to withdraw your money from any ATM at and it's i mean it's that is it's literally that easy you don't have to go through any big checks nothing like that so that that's actually good use huge for people who are investing and that will want to take out profit and take profit we also have how to time the crypto market and make massive profit that course is 300 dollars. you can get it for 100 right now we have taking profit from cryptocurrency and not losing your entire investment so you know a lot of people end up doing that it's unfortunate but it happens because they don't know how the markets work and they don't have a plan where they're going in so they end up losing everything that they invest we have how to get tons of valuable cryptocurrency for free without mining or paying for it, which is an incredible course. This course, a lot of you can basically store up, stock up on crypto. That's what I've done over the years. I remember during the last boom, I had like just tons of coins sitting around in my sitting around in my wallet, in my wallets. And the people were and, you know, I just I, like right now, I don't even I just get coins like they just send them to me now because I have the system down so well. And basically, when the crypto boom hit last time, I literally had thousands of dollars just sitting in my Ethereum wallets, for example, that I never even that I didn't pay for, that I didn't even that I did literally nothing, nothing, okay, to get. So that's one very important thing for you guys. All right, you'll wake up like you should all be doing this. You should all be stocking up on tons of free coins because you will start because you will wake up and you will during the crypto boom you will wake up and you're going to just start seeing like crazy amounts of money in all your different wallets okay and it's going to be amazing we have mastering the ethereum wallet and blockchain which is something a lot of people struggle with and the thing is if you there's so many cryptocurrencies built on the ethereum blockchain at this point that if you understand how the ethereum blockchain works if you can master it if you can master ethereum wallets then it go, it opens up a major major door for you later on down the line like i mean you'll be able to essentially you'll be able to essentially work with so many different cryptocurrencies and have access to so many different cryptocurrencies just by under just by understanding ethereum so that's a huge one you're also going to get the other course we have how to choose and invest in all coins that'll increase by a, by ten thousand by ten times to uh, up to a thousand times or more this course is extremely popular this course goes for 300 and basically you learn how to evaluate you learn the strategies for determining which coins are going to experience that massive growth in 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 value we have how to buy bitcoins anonymously and through secret methods a lot of people who want to get into cryptocurrency and start investing they don't actually know how to and they don't even know how to buy bitcoins if you want to buy crypto if you want to invest in crypto you're going to in altcoins you have to buy bitcoin and a lot of people end up paying massive premiums because they don't know how to do this so i teach you that and there's a ton ton of amazing methods that you can use to do this so that you don't end up getting taken advantage of we also have introduction to day trading cryptocurrency for a living so that you become you can become a cryptocurrency day trader and generate generate income from just trading cryptocurrency you can make 50 60 dollars a day you know moving around 200 bucks okay so it's that's it's really that simple and you can there's a lot of people who do that and they are doing amazingly well we also have the introduction to cryptocurrency course this was the first course i made and it's by far the most popular and if you don't know anything about cryptocurrency you don't know about buying selling you don't know what cryptocurrency is you don't know where to start you don't know how to invest you don't know what an exchange you don't know anything about cryptocurrency what i've done is i've actually i've actually looked into this and i've put together this course for people who don't really understand any of these topics and i basically do the hard work i basically explain it in a way that you will that you will be able to understand it and wrap your brain around it because there's a huge learning curve to cryptocurrency in the beginning and a lot of people quit in the beginning because of that learning curve because they you know because it's it's so much more difficult because it's so much more different i shouldn't say difficult although it is difficult for many but it's so different from what they are traditionally used to okay tim you know tim's in the chat he said that he just got another five he just got five more 
five more five more co um, free coins he purchased a 200 dollars course how to get free cryptocurrency and at this point he's been stocking up on them i don't know if he has like no like maybe like 30 more coins 30 coins like 20 30 all free coins at this point okay and not only does he have them he got them before they even a lot of them are are distributed before he even took part before the icos even happened all right, so now he can start selling those coins on the exchanges while people are buying them. All right, people are struggling to buy them. He's selling the coins that he paid nothing for. And the reason, and there's a number of ways to get these coins, and I provide all of those in this course, the how to get free uh, cryptocurrency course. Because like I said, guys, you, you can sit on your hands if you want to, but as you're watching, as we're seeing things that are happening right now where YouTube is promoting videos like this, you know, uh, essentially almost encouraging, you know, young women to, uh, to, you know, uh, to live that, Hey, they can live in, they can live in a van. They can convert a van. This is a suitable way of living. This is a very difficult way of living. I've lived that life. And I will tell you right off the bat, it was very hard for me. There were times when I felt like I was in quite a bit of danger. There were times when I was confronted while living in my, in my car. It was very, it was, it was really hard. It was really hard and it was really scary. So, you know, you know, she's, she's worried about a small bug. That's the, that would be, that's like one of the few, the least things that should be worried about. All right. And again, for someone who's been living in a van for years, you know, for years at this point or a year and a half, if you want to call it that, uh, it just, it just would not add up. I, like I said, I don't know how a full, how a part-time college student could afford to do this at 19, though. A part-time college student, guys, think about this: a part-time college student who works full-time at 19, purchased a van, did all of the conversion herself, and started installed a solar panel, a sink, a uh, hardwood floor hardwood floor all on her own all right and 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 i mean did all of this like a stereo speaker system i mean she did all of this on her own how and with what budget we don't hear anything about that what does she do for a living we don't hear anything about that either I mean, guys, you guys have to, you have to think for yourselves and you really have to, you know, critical thinking is in such short supply today. If you want to pick up a course on crypto money, you can go over to cryptomoney.academy. You can find a link to the courses in the description of the video. And again, uh, you have about one, you have about 24 hours left to pick up a course at the early bird special and weekend price. Like I said, all courses are $99 or less, as low as 89 bucks. And you know, right now it's it's you know, there's not there's not a lot of time left. I'm just putting it saying it like it is. There is not a lot of time left at all. It's not a lot of time left. You know, there's so many crazy things happening. I, I think we really all just need to focus make ensure that we're diversifying our incomes. And that you know you have your passports prepared. Another very thing, another very interesting thing I, I found out recently after doing some research. Someone said to me like, if you owe a ton of federal debt, your passport can be confiscated. And I was like, huh, no, no, no. And then I did some research and uh, yeah, if you owe a bunch of federal debt, as in the form of student loans, your passport can be confiscated and you can be blocked from leaving the United States. You heard me. Like you can't even go to Canada. You cannot even go to Canada. So that's a topic for another video. But yeah, guys, uh, you know, I've, I've basically, I've talked, I've talked about this enough times already. I've talked about this plenty. You know what, you know what the deal is. And that's, uh, that's it. B BWR says that she had a team and yeah, no, I agree with you entirely. I agree with you entirely. The uh, doctor says at 30, I've never had a full-time job. Uh, you shouldn't feel like a failure to be honest with you. You should not feel like a failure at all I'll make that very very clear to you doctor Should not feel like a failure at all AP says she installs car stereos too. If you need a new stereo in your car <laughs> give her a call She has a stuffed teddy bear like she's nine year old nine years old in the head yet. She rebuilds cars Yeah Yeah 
like I said, you can thank a bit, you can thank, you can thank a bit of, oh my gosh, you can thank a bit of Brit for uh, recommending this topic, because honestly, I did not, I was not planning to cover it, but, you know, she was kind of adamant on it, and, um, yeah, I, I just like, it's, it's, it's just all really, really weird to me. I want to know what you think, if you think there's any possibility that any of this is true, or if you think that this is something like the whole lonely girl thing where she's an, an actress and like there's some company behind this, creating this, creating this character that she's playing. What do you think? Do you think that she's a character? Do you think that YouTube's also testing a new system where it automatically subscribes people to, uh, to you know specific channels or, or products and services that they that they would like to push i mean what do you i mean what do you think is happening right now because it definitely feels like like uh, that is what is happening but i you know again i want to know what you think and you know and if you think that it's only going to continue go, continue evolving from here Topaz says this seems about as legit as reality tell lies vision. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's this is just like this is just like what the heck. Alright guys, let me know what you think in the comments. You can find a link to purchase a course if you want to purchase a course uh in the description of the video. And you can check out her full video. I've also linked the full video over in the description if you want to check that out as well. Love God, get money, and cheers.